गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर फाइन येस टूडे वेलकम टू अवर मैथ्स क्लास बिफोर वी आर गोइंग टू अवर क्लास फर्स्ट वॉट वी हॉट टू डू येस वी हॉट टू से द प्रेयर सो लेट से द प्रेयर फॉर वन मिनट गुड चिल्ड्रेन नाउ वी विल गो फॉर द क्लास येस Before we are going to our class let's enjoy this song okay enjoy it I can be a square or a rectangle or I can lean over at an angle I am a parallelogram I am a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel and that is how But the angles at the corners they make aren't always 90 degrees. Measure them and you'll see adjacent angles add up to be 180 degrees. I am a parallelogram. I am a parallelogram. My four sides are straight. But the angles at the corners they make aren't always 90 degrees. Measure them and you'll see. I am a parallelogram. I am a parallelogram. Yes children, today we are going to see the new chapter parallelogram. Okay? So new concept parallelogram that is parallelogram a b c d this is called parallelogram so in a parallelogram ab is parallel to dz so ab is parallel to dc parallel means the lines two lines will not intersect each other the lines will not intersect each other next ad is parallel to bc that is ad parallel to bc that two lines also not intersect each other so in a parallelogram the opposite sides are parallel okay ab parallel to dc ad parallel to bc next in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal also so ab is equal to dc next opposite side is ad is equal to bc okay so parallelogram opposite sides are equal next opposite angles also equal so first we will see that angle a and c so angle dab is equal to angle dcb next angle abc is equal to angle adc so in a parallelogram what are the properties opposite sides are parallel opposite sides are equal opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram first we are going to see the perimeter of the parallelogram so what is perimeter perimeter is sum of the length of the all the sides so here we have four sides so we have to find the perimeter of the parallelogram we have to sum of the length of the four sides so what is perimeter of the parallelogram perimeter of the parallelogram is sum of the length of the four sides so here what is 12 inches 8 inches 12 inches 8 inches so perimeter is equal to what is we have to sum all the sides length of the sides so perimeter is equal to 12 inches plus 8 inches plus 12 inches plus 8 inches we have to add 12 plus 8 20 20 12 32 32 plus 8 yes 40 inches so perimeter of the parallelogram is 40 inches so perimeter is 
sum of the length of the four sides. Okay. Yes, now we are going to see that area of the parallelogram. Okay. So, we have to take one graph sheet paper and draw a parallelogram on a graph sheet and cut it. Draw a perpendicular line from one vertex to the opposite side. Now we will see one triangle. Yes, cut the triangle. Okay, we have to cut the triangle and shift the triangle to the other side of the parallelogram. What shape is seen now? It is a rectangle. Yes, it is a rectangle. So, now you see that so area of the parallelogram is equal to area of the rectangle. Okay, it is equal you think can say? Yes, so the occupied space are same. So area of parallelogram is equal to area of the rectangle. So area means is occupied the space. So both the space covered same space. So area of the parallelogram is equal to area of the rectangle. Area of the rectangle formula is length into breadth. So length is length of the base of the parallelogram. Length of the base of the parallelogram. Breadth is what? Here breadth is yes height of the parallelogram. Height of the parallelogram. Okay. So area of the parallelogram is equal to length of the base of parallelogram into height of parallelogram. So in short way we have to say length base we have to say base. Height of parallelogram we say height. So area of the parallelogram is equal to base into height. In short way we represent as B into H. B into H. So area of the parallelogram is B into H. Okay. Now we will see that some more examples okay so here base is 6 unit and height is 5 unit so what is area of the parallelogram so area of the parallelogram is base into height so 6 into 5 so is equal to 30 next see the parallelogram base and height okay so length is base and height. So its height how we have to draw is one vertex to opposite side. So now you see that EFGH parallelogram. So from one vertex we draw the two height EED. So DE is one height that base is GH. Okay. So, first we have to find the area of the parallelogram is equal to basis HG and height is ED. So, is equal to 30 into 12. It is multiple 360 centimeter squared. Next, you see the parallelogram. Base is GF. Next, from one vertex opposite side is comes B. It will meet B. So, FG. So, GF is base. Height is BE. Height is BE. So, area of the parallelogram is equal to FG into EB. So, base FG, height EB. So, 15 into 24 is equal to 360. Okay. So, this is area of the parallelogram. So, in one parallelogram, two bases and two height we have from this we have to find the area of the parallelogram next we have to find from one figure we have to find the perimeter and area so you know that perimeter is equal to what sum of the length of sides area is equal to what yes bh base into height so here what is base 42 opposite sides are equal so, 42 meter opposite sides also 42, 27, 27. 
so first perimeter is what sum of the length of four sides so we have to add four sides length so what is 27 42 again 27 next 42 so perimeter is equal to so 42 27 plus 42 plus 27 plus 42 so we take and we have to add so add 27 42 27 42 so first we have to add the ones place 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 7 16 16 plus 2 18 so 8 and carry over 1 now we add 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 4 yes 13 so perimeter of the parallelogram is 138 meter next we are going to find area of the parallelogram. So area of the parallelogram is base into height. Here what is base? Yes, base is 42 and height is 25. So area is equal to base into height 42 into 25. So multiple 42 into 25. Normal multiplication. 5 to sa 10 carry over 1 4 5 sa 20 20 plus 1 21 next what we have to do 2 to sa 4 so one's place becomes 0 now 2 to sa 4 next 2 4 sa 8 now we have to add 0 5 10 so our Area of the parallelogram is equal to 1050 meter into meter meter squared. So area of the parallelogram is 1050 meter squared. So this is perimeter and area of the parallelogram. We will see one word problem that is area of the parallelogram is 420 square meter. If the distance between two parallel sides is 15 meter, find the length of these sides. So distance between two sides is parallel sides is 15 meter that is height. So area is what is given area is equal to 420 height is 15. So we have to find base that is length of the sides is base. So we have to find the base. So what is area is equal to area of the parallelogram formula is base into height so area is given 420 and base is not given height is 15 meter so now we want to find the base the area we have to divide by height so 420 we divide by 15 we get 28 so the length of the side of the parallelogram is 28 meter i think you understood the perimeter and area of the parallelogram so finally, let us listen this conversation and you have to learn some more things. Listen. Engineers choose from various parallelograms to make for different purposes while constructing buildings, homes, cars and even trains. Uh, is it so? Yes, it is. Each shape offers its own special quality. For example, look at this half-built house here. All columns are rectangles and squares. The metal or wood beams that hold up most houses and buildings form rectangles and squares. Whereas, when building something like a bridge, engineers construct triangles between parallelograms to give the structure strength and stability. Ooh, I am amazed! Yeah, there's more. Constructing diagonals along two parallel sides, like that of a bridge, helps create triangles throughout the length of the structure, which in turn gives it the desired sturdy, strong support it needs to weather the strain of heavy traffic. Yes, children, now do you know where we use the mathematical shapes in our day to day life? Yes, I hope you understand this concept. Thank you students 
have a nice day take care of your health bye